Hello students. Today I am here with second video in Viva series. I hope this video will definitely help the student community. Whether they are studying second PU or a degree or even engineering course for electronics stream. If you are watching my video for the first time or watching my video or channel without subscribing, please do subscribe my channel. Press the bell notification icon for new updates. Share it. This series is practical Viva series. So today we are going to see most expected Viva questions for electronics practicals that is experiment 3 digital experiments under digital uh, electronics that is half adder and half subtractor. These two we are constructing using the universal gate that is NAND gate and we are using the IC7400. Okay, we will move on to the questions. Before we move on to the questions, a basic idea about the circuits. This is half adder circuit using NAND gate. You are seeing here 1, 2, 3, I will make it as 4 and this as 5. You remember the previous uh, video, I will give the description here. In the I button, I have discussed about realization. This is about XOR gate realization using 7400 IC. So, already you know this experiment and this completes one IC. So, this gate and this will be the second IC gate 1. So, you cannot take these two as single gate because this function is AB the whole bar. Here, I am making it as a not gate here. So, I cannot take these two as a same gate. This should be a different gate. Hence, this is for the second IC gate 1. Totally, I need 5 gates. But IC, I need 2 ICs. This is another circuit constructing half adder using only basic gates. What are the basic gates? Basic gates are OR gate, AND gate and NOT gate. You know some expression is A bar B plus A B bar. So, what I have done? These are A B inputs. I took NOT gate as A bar, B I took directly. So, this gate will give me A bar B. Similarly, A I took directly and B I took not a gate. So, I get here A B bar. If I OR these two, this is AND gates, this is AND gates, this is what? Not a gate. If I OR these two, I will get A B bar plus A bar B. That is some expression. Then carry for half adder is A B. That is from A from B directly I can connect it, take it as A B. So, now you see how many AND gates? 1, 2, 3. So, half order circuit using basic gates require 3 AND gates, 2 NOT gates, 1 R gate. Totally how much? 6 gates we need. On the same way I can see here for half subtractor, you can notice here this is same as this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, this gives me XR gate. This is the beauty of XR gate. XR gate gives sum as well as difference. So, I can use same XR gate for sum as well as difference. This will give me the difference. Then borrow is A bar B. I am getting here the output this one I need to tap it. This is the fifth gate that is this should be the second IC first gate. There is no compulsion that you have to use the first gate only. You can use any of the gates in the second IC. But totally what it requires? It requires 5 gates 
as well as two ICs. Coming to the half subtractor using basic gates. Already I have explained here for sum and I told you sum and difference both are same. So I need two AND gates, two NOT gates and one OR gate. Borrow for subtractor is A bar B which is already available here A bar B. So I need not have to take any other gate, I can directly take this as borrow. So how many gates do I require here? Two AND gates, two NOT gates, one OR gate. Totally what? Five gates I require to construct. Five basic gates I require to construct. Half subtractor using basic gates. This is a basic idea because it, it will help you to answer further questions. So the first question. How many NAND gates or IC require to construct half adder or half subtractor? Gates are five. IC is two. This is the answer. Can we construct half adder and half subtractor using NOR gate? Justify your answer. The answer is yes because NOR gate is also a universal gate. But the drawback is we need more number of gates which makes the circuit complex. Also, is half adder. Suppose if I need to add 0, 1, I will get 1 as the answer. Whereas if I add 1, 1, the sum should be 0, there should be a carry. So that means it should provide me two outputs, one is sum and one is carry. I am adding two bits. This is the definition of half adder. That is, half adder is a logic circuit which adds two inputs and produces two outputs such as sum and carry. What is the expression for sum and carry? Sum is AXRB, that is XR gate. Carry is AB, that is AND gate output. Which gate represents sum? I just now told sum represents XR gate, carry represents AND gate. What is half subtractor? You see subtraction 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Whereas if I have to subtract 0 minus 1, I need to take a borrow from the previous thing. It is like suppose you are subtracting 12 minus 9. How do you do usually subtraction? You will take carry here. Instead of 2, it becomes 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. This would have become 0, 0. Same way, since it is binary, assuming there is a previous number here, I need to take. That becomes 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. I have taken already borrow. I have taken borrow. So for this, borrow should be 1, difference should be 1. So what are the things? I need borrow and I need difference. So these two should be the outputs. Input remains the same, two inputs. So taking this into consideration, how do I define half subtractor? Half subtractor is a logic circuit which is used to subtract two inputs which produces two outputs as a difference and borrow. What is the difference? That also I have already given. Difference is also same as X or gate. Borrow is A bar B. It is not a gate, it is a combinational gate. Which gate represents difference? This is X or gate. I can't tell which gate uh, gives me borrow because it is not a gate, it is a combination of uh, gates. Which gate represents borrow? Borrow as a combinational logic circuit. It does not represent any particular gate. Now, I will just show you here two inputs A and B 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. After this, I will take sum 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0. I will get carry 1 for this. I am not writing carry here. Then I will take difference. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 difference is 1. 1 minus 0 difference is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. What I want to show you here in both the cases, sum and difference give me the same output. That is why whether it is sum 
R difference, the gate that I am using is XR gate. Among half adder and full adder, which circuit do we prefer? Obviously, we prefer full adder. The reason is, suppose if I have a decimal number I am taking, 29 plus 36. What do you do? 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry 1, then 1, 2, 5 plus 3 is 6. Correct? Whereas 1 is the carry from previous addition. So, half adder cannot be used in practice because it is not possible to add a carry generated in previous addition by a half adder. And this is the difference between half adder as well as full adder. Give some examples for arithmetic circuits. Half adder, half subtractor and full adder. Half adder and half subtractor, are they arithmetic circuits? Yes. Do they belong to combinational or sequential? They belong to combinational circuits. Any circuit which does not have memory, they are known as combinational logic circuits. Then which are uh, sequential logic circuits? Flip-flops, clock desser, JK, D or latch, all these are sequential logic circuits. Combinational logic circuits since they do not have memory. So name the gates used to realize half adder and half subtractor. What are the gates we use? XOR and AND gate for half adder, XOR, NOT gate and an AND gate for half subtractor circuit. Because what is half subtractor output? It is A bar B for borrow. That means NOT gate and AND gate. This is one additional for borrow. This is using uh, basic gates. So, if we realize half adder using basic gates, how many gates uh, do we require? I have already told in the beginning itself, two NOT gates, three AND gates, one OR gate. Totally six gates I require. How, if we realize half subtractor using basic gates, how many basic gates do we need? Again, two NOT gates, two AND gates, one OR gate, totally five gates square. If we realize half subtractor using only NAND gates, again five gates are two ICs. Only NAND gate uh, for half subtractor or half adder, it is one and the same. Five NAND gates and two ICs. Thank you for watching my video. Check out for more videos on electronics topics, practicals, viva questions or even theory. Thank you.